Hi everybody, I'm Xavier from AeroCoach and in this video we're going to go through how to set up your bike for UCI regulations, in particular looking at the new regulations that are going to be coming into force in January 2023. The first thing to do when setting up your bike for UCI regulations is to determine the location of the saddle. To do this, we draw an imaginary line up through the centre of the bottom bracket and you measure the location of the tip of the saddle relative to this line. When you're at a UCI event, they may use a bottom bracket locator to determine this vertical line, or there may be a small metal bar which determines where the line falls. On this jig, this line here represents the bottom bracket spindle line. You can see that the tip of the saddle is 25 millimeters behind this line. The saddle can be in one of two locations, either zero to 50 millimeters behind the bottom bracket spindle line, or more than 50 millimeters behind this line. We call the 50 millimeter or more measurement the rearwards position, or if the saddle is within zero to 50 millimeters of the bottom bracket spindle line, this is a forwards position. The last measurement we do on the saddle is the inclination angle, which means that the saddle cannot be more than plus or minus nine degrees from horizontal. Now that we know the location of the saddle, we're going to move on to the aero bars. And this is where the UCI regulations have changed starting from January 2023. We draw a horizontal line starting at the bottom bracket spindle line and extending towards the ends of the shifters. If you have mechanical shifters, then this line measurement is taken with the mechanical shifter extended. Starting in 2023, there are now three UCI rider height categories. Riders who are up to 179.9 centimeters tall are in category one. Riders who are 180 to 189.9 centimeters tall are in category two and riders 190 centimeters or taller are going to be in category three. These categories determine the reach and extension height that you can use when you're setting up your aero bars. The measurement that we're going to take is from the bottom bracket spindle line horizontally to the end of the shifters. Now this can be 75 centimeters, but you can extend this depending on your category height. From the 75 centimeters, if your saddle is in the rearwards position that we discussed earlier, then you can have up to 80 centimeters of reach if you're in category one, you can have 83 centimeters of reach if you're in category two, or 85 centimeters of reach if you're in category three. The final regulation that's changed for 2023 is the shifter height regulation. The first thing you have to do is take off your armrest pad, draw a horizontal line, which is the same height as your shifters like this, and then you measure from the center of the armrest pad upwards. If you're in category one, you can have a 10 centimeter height from the center of your armrest pad to the level of the top of your shifters. If you're in category two, you can increase this to 12 centimeters. And if you're in category three, you can have 14 centimeters. There is a five millimeter allowance for your arm pad height, which you can use as well as this measurement. So there we have it. That's how you set up your bike for UCI regulations starting from January 2023. First of all, determine the location of your saddle, whether it's in the forwards or rearwards position relative to the bottom bracket. Then that allows you to determine your shifter reach based on your height classification and also the shifter height relative to the armrest also based on your height classification. If you have any questions, then please let us know in the comments below.